All right, so uh, today um, I am happy to announce that I still have a job, okay? Um, so if you haven't been paying attention, um, I don't see how you couldn't have, but um, yesterday the stock market crashed uh, 2,000 points. The uh, oil and gas, uh, well, I would just say the West Texas Intermediate, which is uh, where I'm at in West Texas is the uh, high grade of uh, oil and gas that we use to determine the price of all oil and gases around the world. So uh, Brent crude and West Texas Intermediate are the what you call the benchmarks of how they value oil and gas. Because if you know about oil and gas, some of it is heavy and it takes a lot to process um, that heavy crude and some of the, some of it is real light and what they call sweet, which is uh, easier to refine, easier to process. Um, so uh, the West Texas Intermediate dropped 30% yesterday and uh, immediately um, we got the report that they were shutting down rigs, um, this, this drilling rigs, uh, they were shutting down some um, pulling units and uh, delaying some of some people's uh, uh, frack programs. So, um, you know, me as a well technician, um, as a contract well technician at that, um, I was uh, uh, not expecting um, to get phone calls or anything like that, but um, uh, you can't be surprised when, when, a, when a market and the situation is, is, is the way it is that, um, you know, uh, that you still have work, man. And um, I'm just blessed to be on location today and not out here making a bunch of phone calls trying to trying to get work and, and i'm just blessed and thankful that i still have work and uh this is a tough deal with the oil and gas industry is uh the boom and bust cycle but there's never been a complete drop in the market like it was over the weekend and like it was on monday morning so that was uh it, i mean nothing in the oil and gas is a shock but it comes as a um an abrupt stop usually it's a it's, it's kind of a decline you can see it coming and uh but this one it was just a complete abrupt stop some people um that are in better financial positions are going to be saying well hang on now don't 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 get too crazy don't don't make rash decisions and different things like that but um as for me and my household i know that we cutting down stuff you know to the bare minimum right now just to expect um you know you know just just to be prepared and and you know for for uh anything that comes down the line financially uh you know spiritually we're the richest people in the world spiritually you know because uh we always have hope we always see opportunity even when it's doom and gloom even when the news is telling you that you're gonna die of coronavirus and and uh, you know the old people can't go outside anymore, and you know they they canceling South by Southwest, and uh, they rescheduling Coachella, and, um, and and people are quarantining themselves. Like we know that um, that the that, that God is here to protect us and to give us a sound mind. He did not give us a spirit of fear. All right. So when you see the the spirit of, of, of fear being um, shown and uh, not, not, now I was, I'm not saying he didn't give us the, the spirit of intelligence you you need to wash your damn hands right you don't need to be touching your face and all your orifices with your dirty nasty little hands that's been touching everywhere okay when you cough <coughs> cough in your damn elbow all right you know and don't be you know it's some things that you can do that, that doesn't take, uh, you know, much intelligence, but he gave us intelligence. He gave us a sound mind. That's what a sound mind is. All right. And he did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power, love and a sound mind. That's what you got to remind yourself, especially situations like this. All right. So all of these things that are happening are supposed to happen. OK, but you have to stay the course. You, I mean, me, I mean, us. I mean, we have to stay the course. Believers, if you're a believer, this is probably...
prime time for you. This is prime time. You have to forever stay faithful to the end. You have to ever, forever stay prayerful and fasting to the end. Pray in the spirit, right? That's what we as believers have to do, okay? Um, you know, uh, back to the oil and gas, I'm, I'm just thankful and happy to be still working. And, um, you know, a lot of people lost their jobs yesterday and I feel bad for them. And then your president is over here trying to convince everybody that this is a good thing. And it is a good thing for a lot of people that don't work in the oil and gas industry that get lower gas prices and different things like that. But as as a oil independent country, a country that has found itself in a position to be an exporter of oil instead of an importer of oil, that's one of our biggest economies in the United States now is, is oil and gas. Um, that's a pretty stupid thing for the president to say. You know, because if, if, don't get me wrong, lower gas prices help everybody out. But as far as, um, you know, create job creation, uh, as far as economy, especially in West Texas, Permian Basin, that's the stupidest thing ever. Okay. And there is a fine line between, uh, you know, having a 99% gallon of, you know, price of, uh, you know, gas and having a five dollar you know gal we just trying to find a happy medium okay happy medium y'all happy we happy you know but anyway um and 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 for him to the president i'm talking about for him to go out and say this this is all fake news and all the kind of stuff like that well okay even if it is fake news it's still affecting the stock market it's still affecting people's emotions and behaviors so it, whether it's fake or real, like the perceived, the, the perceived notion is that it can affect you. And that notion is true. It can affect you, but there's things you can do to help prevent that. One of the things is don't panic, right? Don't panic. Don't, don't get all worried about um, tomorrow and you forget about today, all right? So do, handle today's responsibilities. Tomorrow is going to take care of itself. All right. But on another note, I'm blessed to be still working. I'm praying for the people who lost their jobs yesterday. I'm praying for the people who fighting this virus. You know, build your immune system up too. Like you need to type in how to build my immune system up. Right. And that's going to be uh, a lot of herbs, a lot of fruits, vegetables, Look at those things, man. Like you might have to change your whole diet. Like McDonald's is not a good immune booster. I'm just letting you know, right? Um, you know, stopping at Popeye's chicken and getting a chicken sandwich is not a very good immune booster, right? All right, that may be the complete opposite of an immune booster. It may it may decay your immune system. So we, we just wanna be prepared on all fronts, man. Financially, with our health and spiritually. And uh, that's the kind of vibe I'm on right now. And uh, that's my little rant. And uh, I think my tubing pressure buildup is about done now. So I'm gonna go check on it. And uh, y'all wanna come with me? I'll show y'all, man. I'll show y'all what I'm doing over here. See right here, I got about 460 pounds of pressure on my, uh, my tubing and now I'm finna and, and, and what, I, what I'm doing right now is I'm checking my tubing string okay I'm making sure there's no leaks or anything in my tubing so I got this tubing shut in right here so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the tubing right and when I open that tubing I got my flow line shut in okay so when I open that tubing All the pressure is going to be right here on this here check valve. All right. So you're going to see the pressure increase on this check valve and it should hold because 
well, actually you're not gonna see any pressure because it's actually reading from the, uh, the flow side, but, uh, but it should hold and not leak off. Uh, and you can gauge all of that from right about here. All right, so let's open this bad boy up and see what happens when, uh, So now that it is about equalized, let me see here. Pressure seems to be decreasing. I don't know. Oh, it's stabilized. It stopped. Yeah, so that check seems to be holding check valve right there seems to be holding we good so I'm gonna open this flow line back up and I'm gonna continue my test man so anyway if you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe and uh, I'm gonna try to put out more and more content every day even though I'm like all embarrassed to put it out I don't want to say the wrong thing um, I don't want to look the wrong way, but you know how it go. It's just, uh, you can't be afraid of people's, uh, you know, negative comments. You can't be afraid of people, uh, you know, stating their opinion. Cause I just stated mine and I'm a damn show for real about it. So I'm sure other people go be for real about their opinions too. So if they like this video, then they'll like it. If they don't like it, then they'll put a little, little, down button if they if they may cuss me out in the comments i don't know but uh anyway this is what i'm doing right now so y'all do what y'all do uh but uh anyway let me see here i'm gonna start this unit back up and we're gonna get out of here all right then what's going on okay, come on All right, we good. I'm just gonna start back up here in a second. So like I said, man, if y'all like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and um, we're gonna put more and more content out on uh, 40AM.com and our website is uh, fluidlevels.com. And uh, I just hope to be doing more and more of this, especially with the uh, the things going on in the world man i'm gonna be out here working uh, uh praise god and uh you know I'm, I'm just gonna be pretty much ranting and stuff like that so y'all hit me up man hit me up in the comments let me know what y'all want to hear about let me know what y'all want me to talk about if y'all want me to do more oil and gas training if y'all want me to rant um or if y'all want me to do something else man let me know but anyway i love y'all peace out